Hi everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the drawing file in Inventor for the last step of your Puzzle Cube project. These are going to be the following pages that I'll go over. So your title page, your orthographic projection using your assembly file, your exploded view and parts list, and then how to format each of your five parts. So if you are watching this and you are in my Introduction to Engineering Design class, then the first thing you need to do is go to Schoology. And under the inventor file, go ahead and download the IED title block. When that downloads, you can go ahead and open it up, and that should open up inventor for you. When it comes up in inventor and it asks you to resolve the link looking for this particular logo, go ahead and just say skip all, and we can move on to the next step. So this is your title block that you'll be using for class. If you notice over here in your browser, you have sheet one, which is a title page. We'll get to this in a second. And sheet number two is where your actual documentation begins. So I'm going to start off by showing you how to make the orthographic projection using your assembly file. So this is really easy to do. Um, throughout this entire lesson, you're really going to need to know how to use this one button called base. So click on base. And in your drawing view, you have to search for your file. So go ahead and click the search button. Make sure you're looking in your Puzzle Cube project folder. And go ahead and click on your assembly file and say open. Now this is going to go ahead and place a view um, of my assembly file in my title block. And this is a little bit too big for what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and decrease this to half scale. And with my orthographic projection, I want to show my top, bottom, my front, my left, right, and isometric view. Once I've placed those, I'm going to right click and say OK. Now, the only view that's missing from this orthographic projection is my back view. So we need to do one extra step to get there. So if we go to projected and click on my left view, and simply drag over and left click to place it, and then right click create. I now have my front, top, bottom, left, right, and back views along with my isometric. Now all of these should be shaded. So I'm gonna double click on my front view, click on my shaded button and say, okay. I'll also do the same thing with my isometric view. Now a couple of things are missing down here is my project title and my design by. So you're going to want to edit this. Under sheet two, under title block A, IED, go to the drop down, double click on field text, and go ahead and type in your name in all caps. And then your project title will be Puzzle Cube Project and say OK. Now, very important, when you are done with this, you're going to go up to New Sheet, type in your name again, type in your project title, and say OK. This is going to open up a new sheet that will also come in your browser. So the next thing that we're going to go over is how to do the exploded view and parts list. So keep in mind, at this part, you're going to need to make sure that you've done the the presentation file. So go to base, click on search, and open up your presentation file and say open. During this part, uh, this is a little bit too small. I'm going to increase this to half size and put this off here to the side and say OK. What I'm looking for in this section is that each one of your parts are independent of one another. And I can see these straight lines or your trails showing how the actual piece comes together. So I want to make this shaded. I'm going to double click on it and click on shaded and say OK. And the first thing I'm going to do is go over to my annotate tab. So I'm going to be adding information to this sheet. And the first thing I want to do is use my parts list. So I'm going to click on parts list. And it's asking me to select a view. So I could search for my document by clicking here. Or I can just click on my presentation file in my drawing already. And that's going to go ahead and bring this up for me. So I'll go ahead and say OK. Say OK again. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and place my parts list in the top right corner of my document. Now you're gonna notice I have all of my different part numbers, which are correspond to my different parts that I made um, and how many there are. We'll talk about the item number in just a second. Now this description column is unnecessary for this project. So we wanna remove it. If you wanna double click on it, go to the column chooser button, click on description under selected properties and click remove and say, okay. It will update in the actual parts list on your drawing file. The last step for this sheet is to go ahead and add balloons and show your different item numbers. So go over here to balloon. And if you left click, left click, right click, continue, you're gonna go ahead and place balloons on each one of these parts. A couple things you wanna keep in mind as you're making these balloons is that the arrows should be placed directly on the corner of the object. They should not be overlapping the entire object like this. So make sure that they're easy to read um, and right there on the exterior. Okay, so if you haven't saved your project yet, I recommend that you do that right now. Otherwise, we're gonna go back to our Place Views tab. We're gonna go over here to New Sheet. We're gonna type in our names and our project title and say, okay. And now we're ready to start doing our individual part files. In this part, I'm only going to show you how to do one part file. Um, so you can go ahead and do the rest of the four on your own. But similarly to the other sheets, I'm gonna go back to base. I'm going to search for my file and let's start off with my blue piece and say open. Now this is a little bit too small. I recommend that you make these at a one-to-one -one scale and you might have to tweak the front view. I know that this is the best front view for my part because I've done this one before, but you can use your view cube to shift which view you wanna start off with. So once you have your front view chosen, simply drag your mouse to the top and click, drag your mouse to the right and click, drag your mouse to the top right and click. When you're all done, you're going to right click and say, okay. Now, my front, top and right views are going to remain unshaded. My isometric view is going to be in color. So what you wanna do is double click on your isometric and make it shaded and say, okay. For this project, you don't need to add any additional annotations or dimensions. You can simply go to new sheet, type in your information and go ahead and start your next file. Oops. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the sheet that I just made. And you can go back and you can navigate through the sheets that you already created. Um, and you should have a total of eight in, in all. So let's go back to sheet one, my title page. And here I want a big image of your assembly. So you're gonna to go to base, you're going to search for your assembly file, say open, and let's make this maybe two to one. That could be a little bit too large. Uh, we could do a custom scale of 1.5. And let's go to our home view or an isometric and say, okay. Now I can drag this up can move this information down a little bit. Double click on my assembly file and make it shaded and say, okay. If you double click on this text box, you can go ahead and highlight this information and put in your name and say, okay. When you are all done with this drawing file and you have all eight sheets completed, the last thing you need to do is export this as a PDF. So you're going to go to File, Save first, and then go to Export, PDF. And this is very important. Um, at this point in time, I want you to name it your last name, underscore Puzzle Cube Project. And when you are done with that, make sure you click on Options. After you click on Options, select All Sheets. That will export all eight sheets and say OK. Um, and then make sure you're saving this into your Google Drive file stream folder. So I'm gonna navigate to my Puzzle Cube project and say save. 
And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and submit your final drawing file to Schoology, uh, the PDF version, please. And you are all done with this project. Nice job. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope this helped.